right now as we speak, I've got a good 15 under contract or so, but what's really exciting, what's really, really exciting to me right this second with my real estate business is that December 31st or whatever, like the last day of the year, I've got like 3.5 million, it's like six deals or something set to close on that day, which means what? Which means that I won't get paid on those until the first week of January. Which means what? Which means the first week of January, I'm going to get over $100,000 in real estate commissions to kick the year off, right? And so that's, I'm going to, you know, and I'm, the thing is, is that I'm not even, we're, we're not even there yet. I'm still building up more deal. I'm still selling properties. I just put one under contract today for $735. Um, you know, I'm going to put some more things under contract in the month of December, to set the close in January and February, like the moment, like 2021 is here right now. We don't need to be thinking about what we're gonna do in 2021 or when D January 1st hits, November 1st is the same thing as January 1st for real estate agents. Like that, that you should be doing your, your New Year's resolutions on October, on Halloween night. You should be saying, okay, this is the last time I'm gonna dress up, that I'm gonna straighten my life up from here on out. Uh, you know, I'm going to quit all this, you know, partying and stuff. And November 1st is literally should be your New Year's resolution day. All right. Um, because real estate business is such a lag business. You get paid several months later. So November 1st is the day. So we're in 2021 right now. If your mind's not right for 2021, right this second, then what are we, what are we doing? Right. We need to really, we need to really get into this mindset now, now, right this second. And also take advantage of the moment that it's kind of slow, like slower than it has been. And that's because of a couple things. One, Thanksgiving's here. So everybody's thinking about traveling. Everything, everybody's cooking. Everybody's getting ready to see the family. And they're not thinking, I, I want to go see properties today. Or I want to list my house today. They're thinking about family with Thanksgiving. So what do we need to do? Stay on the phones. We need to be spending like five hours a day on the phones today, tomorrow, Wednesday, we need to be on the phone building that business because of this, guys. The last couple of weeks have been so busy, we couldn't make calls and we feel bad. So we need to make up for that this week when it's slow, but we need to go even harder so that we don't feel bad, you know, the first couple of weeks of December, if it's busy, same thing with the week before Christmas, we need to make solid calls. The whole week before Christmas, when everybody's Christmas shopping and not looking at properties, we need to make calls Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the week before Christmas, because that's normally the slowest week of the year because everybody's gearing up for Christmas. We need to really take Absolutely. advantage of that Absolutely. moment and that's going to propel so much momentum going into the new year. No, that's big, Ricky. Actually, um, to add to that, one of the, the techniques I teach my students is um, now that the holidays are coming, don't text people or call them on the holidays, right? Call them a day or two before. And this is the time you have an excuse now to reach out to them, right? Because now you say, hey, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas or um, Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family, just checking in. And also you separate yourself from all the 20,000 messages that they're going to receive the day of Thanksgiving and all. I do the same thing with birthdays on my calendar reminder. I always remind myself a day before their birthday or two days before. So it stands away from the packs. So what you said is right on. You want to, the, the, the time, the days before the holidays, that's the time to call those people who have not been picking up the phone, that investor that's been kind of ghosting you. And you're just going in there with love and just saying, hey, happy holiday. We're just thinking about you, you know, and just and just speaking to them, you know. So, yeah, absolutely. I love it. I love it. It gives us that's true. It gives us uh, another reason, another reason to reach out on top of the fact right. that we want to reach out. We actually have a, a very kind of heartfelt, let's say, reason other than right. just, hey, household. Okay, I got a question. So um, my little girl's on fall break and I'm just, my strategy for this week is to do some serious time blocking, for instance. Like I did three hours solid on the phone after I did my paperwork and I'm like, shut it down and I went and baked Christmas cookies with her. Um, I mean, I'm all about hitting it hard around the holidays. I'm using my circle prospecting Thanksgiving script, but um do you think we should be do, focusing on new leads or like sphere this week? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, I know I, I'm thinking new, you know, I'm thinking new, I'm thinking new leads myself. Uh, Cause I'm thinking growth right now. You know, I'm thinking, Hey, you know, you can kind of hit your sphere a little bit all year long. You got the weekly email going, you know, we're hit kind of hitting our sphere, you know, we're hitting our sphere, you know what I mean? Um, 
pretty hard. I think, I think, listen, I think that 2021 is going to be one of the busiest years we've seen. And I think when it hits, it's going to be like a ton of bricks hitting us and we're not going to have time to make calls. And we're going to look back and wish we would have called new prospects and built our database up a little bigger rather than call the database we have and maintain the same size. We were going to wish we had a little bigger database going into the new year. I think we, I think this is just my opinion. You can mix it up if you want. You can call a little bit of past, a little bit of new, but I don't know. I, if it were me and I were still building my business right now and I'm looking at what I think is going to happen, I think I would go all in with new and try to build some more relationships before this thing really goes down. Boy, think it, need a life for the ideas. I'm in the splash zone with the brain waves. I shoot for stars up in my aim is straight. I lay in the sand, line in the palisades. I'm out.